Hey there guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to walk you through Jobber. If you're scheduling jobs, managing clients, or handling invoices, Jobber makes it easy to grow your business. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started with Jobber step by step. First, we'll do a quick overview of what Jobber is, then I'll show you how to sign up. After that, we'll check out the dashboard so that you can see how to find your way around. And finally, I'll teach you how to add a new client, create a request, make a quote, and set up a job. And by the way, if you'd like to sign up for Jobber, make sure to use the link that I put down in the description to get access to a special limited time discount where you can save up to 30%. As you can see there on your screen, anyone who signs up for the annual plan will get 15% off of their first year, and those who choose a monthly plan will receive 30% off of their first three months. Now I do hope that you're not too late to grab this offer, but if you are, don't worry. I am also giving away my custom Notion templates to help you stay organized from day one. These templates are valued at more than $900, but again, you get them completely free when you sign up using my link as a thank you for supporting the channel. And with that, let's get started. First of all, let me give you a brief overview of what Jobber is. Jobber is a tool that helps small businesses get things done more easily. It's great for businesses like cleaners, landscapers, or repair services. Now, with Jobber, you can plan jobs, keep track of your team, send bills to customers, and save their info all in one place. You can use it on your computer or your phone, so you can manage your business from anywhere, really. Plus, it helps you create quotes, send reminders, and even connect with tools like QuickBooks to handle money better. Basically, Jobber saves you time and keeps everything organized. That way, you can spend less time on paperwork and more time focusing on your actual work. It is simple and it's very helpful. Now that you have an idea of what Jobber is, let's go ahead and move forward and I'll show you how to sign up. Once you're on the home page, click on the Start Free Trial button. Now on the next page, you have different sign up options, including signing up with your email, Google account, or Apple account. Now for this tutorial, we'll use Google to sign up. So click on the Continue with Google button and select the Google account that you want to use. Then authorize Jobber to access your email and basic profile information. Now once you sign up, you'll be taken to your account dashboard. Now that you've signed up, let's check out the Jobber dashboard. Now on the left side, you see there's a menu with different tabs. Let me walk you through each one step by step. The Create tab is where you can quickly create new things like client, request, quote, job, and invoice. Next, the Home tab is your starting point. It is where you will see a quick overview of your day and any important updates. Moving on, the Schedule gives you a clear calendar view of all of your appointments and tasks so that you can stay on top of your time. After that, the Clients tab will help you keep all of your customer info organized in one spot, making it easy to find their details or contact them when needed. Then the Requests tab is where new leads or inquiries come in. This is where you can handle them before turning them into jobs. Further down, the Quotes tab is for creating and sending professional estimates to your clients. The Jobs tab lists all of your current and upcoming projects so that you can easily keep track of all of the details. And additionally, the Invoices tab is where you can send bills and track payments to make sure that you're getting paid on time. In terms of growth, the Marketing tab has tools to help you promote your business and grow your client list. Furthermore, the Reports tab shows you useful data about your business performance so that you can see what's working and make smarter decisions. On the Financial side, the Expenses tab helps you track all of your spending, making it easy to manage your costs. Likewise, the Timesheets tab lets you and your team log work hours so that everyone stays organized. The Apps shows you all of the integrations and add-ons that you can connect with Jobber to make your workflow smoother. And finally, the Refer a Friend Friend is where you can invite others to try Jobber and earn rewards when they sign up. Now let's discuss how to create a new client in Jobber. To create a new client, just click the Create button at the top of the menu. After that, you'll see a list of options. Pick Client. This will bring up a form where you can fill in the client's info. The form has two main parts, Client Details and Property Details. In the Client Details section, the first entry is the client's first and last name. You can also pick a title like Mr. or Miss from the drop-down menu. Now, if the client is a company, you can add the company name instead and check the box that says use company name as the primary name if that fits. Now you'll see spaces for contact details. Add the client's main phone number and email addresses here. Just click add phone number or add email address to include extra contact info. There's also an option to set up automated notifications and the section for additional client details if you want to personalize the client profile even more. The property details section is where you put the client's property or service address. If the billing address is the same as the property address, just leave the check mark 
as it is. But if you need to add more property details, you can open up this section and fill in the extra information. Once you have filled out all of the fields, you can either click Save Client to save the info or choose save and create another if you want to add another client right away. If you need to back out at any point, just hit the cancel button at the bottom left of the form. Now let's go over how you can create new requests in Jobber. To create a new request, first click the requests tab on the left menu. This takes you to the requests page where you can see all of your current requests. To create a new one, just click the new request button at the top right corner. From there, a form will pop up so that you can fill in all of the details about your request. Now at the top of the form, you'll see the request title field. This is where you add a short title to describe what the request is about. It helps give a quick idea of what the request is for. Now over on the right, there's the request details section, which automatically shows the date the request was created. Then you'll come to the service details section. Here you can add more information about what's needed. This is where you can explain the job, what work needs to be done, and the client's expectations or anything else that's important to know. In the Your Availability section, set the time when the client wants the work assessment to take place. First, pick the best date using the calendar. And if you want, you can also suggest a backup day just in case. Next, you can choose the preferred arrival times to match the client's schedule. Just pick one or more options, any time, morning, afternoon, or evening. Right below that, there's an on-site assessment required toggle. If you turn it on, we'll schedule an in-person assessment before the job starts. This helps us better understand the client's needs. The internal notes section is just for your team. This is where you can write down any notes about the request that the client will not see. You can also upload files here by dragging and dropping them or using the select file button. Plus, if needed, you can connect these notes to quotes, jobs, or invoices by checking the boxes at the bottom of the form. When you're done filling everything out, just click the Select Client button at the bottom right to finish your request. If you change your mind or need to stop, there's a Cancel button at the bottom left. Now let me show you how to create a new quote in Jobber. It is very easy. First, head to the left menu and click on Quotes tab. That will take you to the Quotes page where you can see all of your quotes. Now to create a new quote, click the New Quote button in the top right corner. A pop-up will show up giving you two options. Use a template or create a blank quote. If you already have a template, go ahead and select it. If not, just click Create a Blank Quote and fill in the details yourself. When the blank quote form pops up, first off, enter the job title at the top. On the right, you'll see the quote details section. That's where you'll add client info and other details. Plus, you can customize it. Like, you can add custom fields to make it look more professional. And then next up is the product service section. Here, list out the items or services you're quoting. Just fill in the name, description, quantity, and unit price. If you're quoting multiple items, use the Add Line Item button, or if something's optional, click Add Optional Line Item. You can also add notes or context by using the Add Text button. On the right side, you'll see the subtotal and the final total for the quote. This includes any discounts, tax, or required deposit. To add a discount or tax, just click the links and enter the amounts. As you scroll down, you'll see the Client Message section where you can leave a personal note for your client. Right below that, there's the contract disclaimer section with standard terms like this quote is valid for 30 days. You can edit this text if you need to. Then there's the internal notes section, which is just for your team. Clients won't see it. If you need to add files, you can drag and drop them or use the select a file button. Plus you can link these notes to related jobs or invoices by ticking the boxes. Once everything looks good, click the select client button to save and finalize the quote. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you're ready to try Jobber, use that link in the description that I mentioned earlier to get that special discount and you'll also get my Notion templates worth more than $900 completely free. Just my way of saying thank you for watching and supporting the channel. Thanks again for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience with Jobber, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you.